Hello, humans. My name is Nevit, aka the Gutter Monkey, and I am back with Game of Thrones. Let's just start right where we left off, huh? You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Well, uh, let's be nice. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Duncan, no hesitation. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. I really hope not. Now, sentinel. What do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We'll deal with him. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Everybody calm Lord down. Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Yeah, chill out. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms. But the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power recommend? to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Uh, I don't want to fight. I'm pretty sure about that. Bargaining, I don't... Bargaining's one where we give them our wood, right? <laughs> you know what I mean. You give, uh, we give them our uh, stuff. Diplomacy sucks too because Ramsey is kind of a douche. But that looks like our best option. My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. I don't know why you can't prepare for a fight just in case. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. 
And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I actually do like that idea. Uh, we're, we're coming off weak enough as it, is, as it is already, so let's make him wait. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. I just took your You're side. You're to get us all killed. Sit down. Sit down at once. Uh, dick. I remember it. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate. And we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. I made decisions. Forgive me. Several of them. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me you want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter, but what's more, he has the will to fight, a hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. He sounds like a loose it's cannon. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. Hmm. Maybe. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. So do we want our crazy brother? Uh, now there's a chance he could just cause more problems. A good chance that he could. But it couldn't hurt, I guess, to have at least one Joe Pesci type around to, you know, go nuts when we need him to. And plus, I'm just curious, so I'm going to get... I'm gonna get a brother. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Makes her happy, if nothing else. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. I hope I don't regret this. Along with everything else I've chosen so far but I will probably regret it all Lady Marjorie's Chambers Red Keep King's Landing hmm what's it say Tyrell Family Seal examine what's this 
strange key. Hmm. Let's examine the seal first. Return seal, take seal. Uh, let's just... Let's take that. I'm not going to notice that missing, are they? Probably got all kinds of those. Okay, let's, let's examine the key. Let's pick the key up. Oh. I'm going to do it. I'm going to steal it. Uh, um, I don't know, Marjorie, we really want to be on her good side. What is this for? Uh, you know what? I'm going to sit it down. I feel like I'm pushing my luck with the seal already. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Forget what you Please heard. Please don't repeat what you heard to anyone. Of course. I never would. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... I was already worried about saying that stuff in front of her anyway. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Is everything all right? Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Yeah, of I'll course need not. This mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed, and he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear, for now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I'm so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. I had to give it a shot. Milady. Jesus. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. No, it's good to see you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Milady. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like, and your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. How can you How help can me? you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... Be willing to help you.
God, those soldier uniforms are so creepy looking. Also, I keep associating all of them with the, with the mountain. So, that doesn't really lower the creepy factor any. In fact, it enhances it quite a bit. Where's Sir Roiland? The man values pride more than honor. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. We will prevail. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord. Okay, that confidence was just a complete act. I am scared shitless. Ramsey is a monster. Something wrong with your gate? That well, looks like it's working all right. It's like Lou Grant beside of him. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? Just you. You're welcome inside, but your men are not. Did you hear that, men? The lord of the house says, fuck off. I think he's afraid of you. Wait here. For now. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. What do you think? <gasps> Not bad. The wood Lord really is White like Hill. iron. Can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. You can wipe the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. What is he up to? Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. That's our little brother. We really must focus on the business at hand. What do you want? What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. Uh. I only kneel to the king. Is not the Warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. 
Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. It was a Forrester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Oh God. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? 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 The Ironwood. But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. It can't be that difficult. The foresters have been tending ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of... twenty men <gasps> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's this no will cause more trouble. trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Where is Royland? You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Riff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. That's do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh my god! No! What have you done? No! But I don't want a ball. No. What? Oh, too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 I need you, Bethany, eventually. What? I think we've come to an understanding. Not Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. No! Take the body of your lord. Kill him. Think what? 
Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Stop! Don't let it go! Let it go! Stop that! No, please! Ryan, please. Stop it! Remember no. Ryan! Do something! Oh, my son. Oh, what? No! Ah! Uh, my story has begun. I'm dead. Ah! Uh, I bet I could have lived Ethan through that too. He sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Jon Snow. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Unfucking believable. You and 65.8% stayed with Bowen. Whatever happened to Bowen anyway? You and 62.4% swore loyalty to the king. Well, we had to. We didn't mean it. You and 48.6% freed Eric. Now, I wasn't completely sure about that one, but it just... It, it felt better than killing a man who was just in a desperate situation and did a desperate act. Uh, my only other options were to sacrifice him to the wall where he'd be... I mean, you gotta think about that. That's like... like prison, pretty much. So... I, or I could cut his fingers off. <laughs> and that seems a bit extreme. So I showed him mercy. You and 69.1% picked Duncan as a uh, sentinel. I, it just seems obvious who, wh that he, he should be the one who's picked. You and 49.9% met Ramsey at the gate. It looks like I'm with the majority for most of them, barely. Well, maybe, maybe Ethan was supposed to die then. And because it didn't say an option on there like, uh, like you and two other idiots let your character die. Damn it. Or maybe it just doesn't tell you that right there. Man, I really feel like I screwed up. I mean, how are you supposed to deal with somebody like Ramsey anyway? Because he's a maniac. I mean, he's literally a maniac. He's a crazy person. Well, he's not crazy. He's got his head about him, but his head is sadistic. And I can't imagine being able to negotiate with him or bribe him with our iron wood. And I certainly don't think I could win against him in a fight. And where was Royland? Also, he just disappeared. Damn it. Well, so... 
the game's all right so far. Um, it's certainly very Game of Thronesy, judging by that ending there. And what I mentioned earlier, so uh, uh, you can die, your characters can die, which is kind of terrifying. But I guess it also makes the game more fun if it's your choices causing you to die. Because, uh, that really puts more in the line. You really gotta try hard to do the right thing. But, anyway, I am going to end this right now. This is a pretty short episode for me I didn't realize I didn't, uh, I didn't I didn't uh, realize I was gonna be at the end of part one on this series so soon but um yeah anyway I will be back and we will start right back on the uh, next episode of Game of Thrones until then I would be your muggy man mama just can't cram no coconut trees. I would be your monkey man, mama. Just can't cram no coconut trees. Clothes ain't sharp enough. My clothes ain't sharp enough. I break down with you, dizzy males. But I don't get on my happy black knees.